What we're going to do here is we're going to look at the configuration of the OPC database that we use for our Siemens controller network. OPC is a data exchange format that's based on Microsoft's OLE technology and we use it here on this computer to exchange data between a set of Siemens Model 353 controllers and this personal computer. To do this we go into the program menu to the Siemens Presidia uh, submenu and over here Modbus Ethernet OPC server. This is the program we're going to use to configure the database to tell this computer how to get data from those controllers. We currently already have three controllers, flow, level, and temperature in this database, but I'm going to pretend for a moment that we don't have this already configured. I want to show you what you'd have to do to configure the database initially. We would go right here to the auto config button, push that, this command will discover all Presidias, that is discover all controllers on the network, retrieve configuration data from the stations, and configure the server database. So I'm going to click the OK button here. First thing it will do is search and try to discover any existing controllers on the network and indeed it's found three of them flow temperature and level and here are the IP addresses for each one they connect to this network through Ethernet I'm gonna say okay and at this point it's going to go and reconfigure the whole database this takes a little bit of time to do and what it's doing is it's determining the addresses and the variables of all the information in those field controllers <coughs> and it's going to make a database that matches so now the OPC exchange protocol knows where to go to to get data to populate those variable spaces, those tag names in the database. We just wait for it to do its thing. And nothing's going to change in this particular example because like I said, we already had a configured database. We already knew that we had three controllers called flow, level, and temperature out there. I'm just basically doing the procedure over again to show you what you would have to do if you were starting from scratch. Now this database, when it's complete, is going to be saved in a .mdb file format, which is the standard Microsoft Access database format. And in fact, up here I can say File, Save As, and save it as this, uh, in this case, uh, PTEC PCLU July 17, 2009. That's the file name I gave this last July when I initially ran the database configuration. So now we, once again, recognize the three controllers and one called Modbus Test, which is not a real device. Under Address Space, we can open this up and explore some of the data available in those three controllers. For example, I'll go to the Level Controller. In the Level Controller, I've got all these tag names. Each tag name refers to a variable, some data inside the controller. Maybe that data represents a process variable, maybe it's a configuration parameter. Whatever it is, there's a tag name for every one of those parameters in there that we can do something with. If I go to the loop called level, in here I see coils, which are single bits of information. I see static variables, static, integer, and real. These would be things that an operator or technician would program in, like tuning constants. Strings, which are text messages. We have some variable real and integers, and also some dynamic real and integers, and block status variables, all kinds of stuff in here. So to, in order to know what all these things mean, for example, the coils, you would have to go to the user's manual for that controller and look up what these tag names refer to. I don't have the time or patience right now in this short video to do that, so I'll leave that to your own uh, exploration. But suffice to say, you can go through here and explore all the different variables that are available to you in this database and see what they all mean. And then later on you can link these variables to graphic objects on the screen and make custom control screens for the operators to use.